I'm announcing today that after spending nearly 12 years as leader of the Liberal Party, I'm stepping down from the leadership and asking the national executive of the party to call a convention for next March to choose a new leader. There's no easy way or ideal time to leave, and there are always strong public and private reasons, both for going and for staying on. At a point in time, one sub simply makes the decision as to what is best. I will turn over a healthy party to my successor. We have 114 energetic and dedicated members of parliament, who in many cases have been my friends and colleagues since I came to Ottawa. Many senators have also been loyal supporters. I'm grateful to them and to all the liberals throughout the land for having given me such an extraordinary opportunity to serve my country. Our party has a large and growing plurality of support from Canadians, as witnessed by the recent provincial and federal by-elections. These Canadians are dedicated to liberal principles and policies and are deeply concerned over the present government's actions. I know that before too long they will call on our party to govern Canada again. Liberals are in the process of rethinking the party's policies and of rebuilding its organization to be ready to return to office. In my view, one element of that renewal, re renewal should be a change in the leadership. I thought a good deal about a change of leaders with the Quebec referendum facing Canada, presumably late next spring. I want to assure all Canadians that wherever I am or whatever I do, I will continue to work and fight for our country. As member of parliament for Mount Royal and as a Canadian, born and raised in Quebec, I wish in particular to express my thanks to the people of my constituency and of my province for their unfailing support as they have stood by me in every battle since 1965. So to the best of my ability, I shall stand with them to fight for Canada during the referendum. But I also know that the struggle for unity will be an ongoing one, lasting well beyond the referendum. It will require long and sustained efforts to build the kind of Canada that most of us want. I feel it's time for a new leader to take up this work. And to you, uh, I think what hasn't been apparent collectively is that when we meet singly or in small groups, uh, I can say that I enjoyed working with you. And if I can be permitted to turn around a phrase, I would say that I'm kind of sorry I won't have you to kick around anymore. There was a rare, if not astonishing, sight in the House of Commons where the members unanimously and exuberantly supported a motion of gratitude and appreciation for Trudeau put forward by Prime Minister Clark. I would like permission of the House to move under Standing Order 43, a motion seconded by the Honourable Member from Winnipeg North Centre, that this House express its gratitude and appreciation to the Right Honourable, the Leader of the Opposition, for his service to this House to his party and his country, and express its hope that he will continue as the Right Honourable Member for Mount Royal to contribute his formidable talents to Parliament and to Canada. I do want to thank the Prime Minister for naming me as the seconder of the motion, and I'm happy to associate the members of my party with the tribute and the good wishes to the Leader of the Opposition contained in that motion. It's been a pleasure for many of us to be associated with the Right Honourable Member for Mount Royal through his years in this Parliament. His contribution to the country cannot be gainsaid. Indeed, he has been subject to criticism, but he knows best of all that the one way not to receive criticism is to do nothing at all. That hasn't been the story of his life. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Highlands Council. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, for myself, I would like to uh, say publicly what I have uh, said to the uh, leader of my party, how deeply saddened I am at uh, the decision he has taken to step down from the leadership of the Liberal Party. It has been my view since uh, the last election that uh, Mr. Trudeau could continue to lead our party and could succeed in 
returning this party to office in the future. The Right Honorable the Leader of the Opposition. It's an irony of our profession, and we're all aware of it, all of us who sit on, on the floor of the House, I suppose including yourself, Mr. Speaker, that uh, people only really begin to admit our qualities uh, when we're on the way out. Uh, it's, it's a kind of convention with which we are all acquainted. And, uh, when we hurl insults at each other, we know that uh, in reality we have a fair amount, perhaps a great deal of admiration for people who, like ourselves, um, decided to ask Canadians and their constituency to support them in a task which is sometimes thankless and certainly always nearly exhausting. And uh, we know that, uh, that underneath the partisanship that we must show, that there's a basic underlying admiration for each other, uh, if only because we've agreed to serve our countries in the same way, in the same forum. And uh, perhaps there's a lesson for those out there who, uh, who always take all our insults seriously. And, uh, and um, I, was, I was reading in uh, some magazine a few weeks ago that the profession of politics is held in very, very low esteem by the people of our country, way below, below uh, sportsmen and actors and, and everything else. And uh, I suppose that may be the explanation of it. In a sense, we, we are paid to belittle each other. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the people who watch us uh, uh, may believe that uh, we are doing it uh, in a way which it decreases the value of our, of our service, of our profession. I would want to use this day and this occasion to say that is apparently not the case. And the, the warmth with which uh, uh, my friends and my uh, opponents have, uh, have uh, given me their warm wishes today indicates that uh, there, there is a great respect amongst ourselves uh, for the basic cause that we're all serving, that of Canada. Je voudrais aussi remercier I would also like to thank, in particular, my colleagues, especially those from my province. They've always supported me. I would like to repeat what I said in caucus, caucus this morning, that I would always be ready to help in the fight to make Canada a strong and united land.